back with another video and today if you couldn't tell by the title it is a wash and go so these are the results i got for my wash and go so let's see defined juiciness um yeah so i've been wanting to do this for a very long time and i finally found time today and i filmed for you guys so if you like this look and you want to know how i got it just keep so, first what I'm gonna go in with is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo with sea kelp and argan oil. It fortifies and restores damage and transitioning hair and this is perfect for me because I am trying to restore my hair. I did get a little heat damage during homecoming season when I flat ironed my hair and that was my fault because I was not taking care of my hair. But this is the first thing I'm going to go in with and um usually it's like a four week process first i go in with this shampoo and then the next three weeks i will go in with the as i am coconut co-wash and here it is right here so four week period first week shampoo next three weeks co-wash repeat after that i am going to go in with this same line in the shea moisture um, raw shea butter restorative conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil moisturizes and fortifies damaged transitioning hair and here is that so I'll be going in with these two products today and as you can see I have brushed out my hair it just makes it a little bit more easier to detangle your hair in the shower and work with it so I will get to in the so, shower I am back with my freshly washed hair I went in with both of those two products and now I'm going to move on into deep conditioning my hair. Um, I'm going to be using the Aunt Jackie's Coconut Cream Recipes line. It's the Coco Repair Coconut Cream Deep Conditioner. Be mindful today that all the products that I'm using are silicone, sulfate, and paraben free. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, when I deep condition my hair, I do section it. So gonna start off with the bottom layer so right here I'm just suctioning off my hair starting off with the bottom layer so get that sectioned off make sure all of the hair is out the way for this because you don't want any hair messing up with your sectioning so I do split both sides in half. It just makes it easier for me to apply the product. Honestly, it's no reason I do this. But I split it into halves and I start off with one side and I like my hair to be wet. So I do spray more water on it if it's not wet and it's dried up. So now I'm applying the product in my hair and I apply lots of product when I do apply it in my hair so you see me I will keep putting more into my liking and you're just gonna rake it through your hair as you see that I'm doing just keep on raking it and you might need to grab more if you need to put more product then you just keep on raking until it is distributed on all strands of your hair so it's really just a touch and go thing you just keep going till you like it and then eventually you will separate it into two the sections that you are working with and you will twist it like i am doing in the video so i twist it all the way to the end and then i basically finger coil it with my finger as you're about to see finger coil it make sure all the product is in there and then once i do that i am done and i will move to the next section and keep going so i'm basically just doing the same thing to this side i'm applying the water because it's a little dry and i'm putting the product on my hair raking it like i did the other side 
and once I get it to my liking eventually I will twist it like I did the other side and then finger coil it and that's pretty much what you're going to do throughout your whole hair um, I do a total of let me think one two three four five six sections in my hair now it's totally up to you how you want to section your hair but I do start at the bottom of my hair split it into twos then I do a diagonal part with my fingers nothing fancy it doesn't have to be perfect as you can tell it's just a little part um now the same part that you see right here is the same part that I would do to, uh, to the other side and then I will work my way to the middle and split the middle in twos and then you'll just continue doing this throughout your whole hair in whatever sections you want to do it Make sure you do this right after you wash your hair while it's wet and everything you see i was putting extra water in my hair just to make sure it's wet i like to put product in when my hair is wet so now that's it's all done i'm gonna make sure i let this sit for about 30 minutes and then i'm going to wash it out and then i'll start the actual process of styling my hair make sure while you're washing your hair out you are using cold water or lukewarm water not hot water you do not want to use hot water while you are doing your wash and go so just make sure you're using cold water and you should be fine so i'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and i'll be right. everything is currently washed out now and um now i'm about to get into styling so originally i bought these two products to style with it is one of them is the aunt jackie's coconut cream recipes curl boss coconut curling gel which is this right here and then i bought the aunt jackie's curls and coils curl la 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 defining curl custard Originally, i bought these two together to style together but one day I used both of these together and I did not like the way it felt on my hair together. So I do use these products separately. And last time I did use the Curl Lala Defining Curl Custard. And so today I'm gonna go in with the gel. Now you might be thinking, um, you only put gel in your hair, gel? But y'all, this Curl Blast Coconut Curling Gel is the balm on my hair so this is what i use it might not work for everybody but i will only be using this product only today when styling my hair um i am going to use the demon brush to help me style my hair as well and you'll see how i use it a lot of people use it differently but you'll see how just i use it and i only have this towel in my back because i didn't want my bed wet but without further ado let's get started so just like we did when we deep conditioned, you are going to section your hair. Now when I apply product to my hair, I always like sectioning it. You will never see me just applying the product to my hair without sectioning it. I just think sectioning your hair just lets the product really get distributed throughout your strands and everything. So you will see me always um, section my hair off when I apply product. So just like I did, I'm starting off with the bottom section and I will split them into twos like I did before. Now the same sections I did when I applied the deep conditioner is the same sections I will do when I apply the gel. So you see me spraying water on my hair until it's basically dripping. Um, I Like I said before, I like my hair basically dripping wet when I apply product. 
So once I get it wet to my liking, I will take the product and start raking it through my hair like I did before. I always break the product through my hair. So I will break it and put more product in it into my liking. And eventually, when I get it to my liking, I will eventually go with the dimming brush. And the purpose of the dimming brush when I use it is to basically distribute the product throughout my hair. Um, now, I am transitioning and I would like to use the brush to basically find my curls. And I would like to just brush my hair. And then you will see me... Um, basically jiggle it soon but I would love to just take the brush brush it through a section jiggle it and leave it be but since I am transitioning you see even some strands won't even curl up and it's basically my bottom strands you might see but some strands won't even curl up so I do I take the brush and I brush it through my hair just to distribute the product so like you're about to see I brush it a couple times until I think it's distributed good and then you'll see me take the brush and curve it a little bit curving the brush does give like it curls it more kind of if it makes sense but you see me I'll, jig I'll jiggle it and it kind of defer defines my curl a little you know it clumps it together and it curls my hair that's what you want that's what healthy hair is supposed to look like it curls up when you do that but as you see some won't even curl up and I probably have to cut a little bit more of my hair because I have did kind of a big chop but I will finger curl each little curl just for now this is I've transitioned from damaged hair before and honestly finger coiling does wonders so after I finger curl I will scrunch up my curls just to, um I guess make it a little bit more curlier but I do like brushing my hair in smaller sections so you will see me divide the a section into another section just so I make sure everything is distributed nicely so you see I am taking the brush exactly how I did the last section I'll jiggle it by my curls and basically take each curl and finger curl it Throughout the video, you might see me get a little lazy and do bigger sections when I'm finger coiling, but it's best to take your time when you're doing these wash and goes because the more time you spend on it, honestly, the better results you're going to get. So when you're doing a wash and go, at least if you're going to copy my wash and go, make sure you have time when you're doing it. I know it's supposed to be a fast wash and then go, but honestly, the more time you take on your wash and go, the better. Um, while I was in school, I really tried to rush my wash and goes just for the simple fact I was just always in a rush in school. But those wash and goes were not it. I promise you they were not it. So now I'm taking care. I did a chop and everything. So yeah, you'll just see me finger curl each curl and scrunch 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 i love scrunching my curls i'm not afraid of shrinkage i actually like it so you'll see me do that a lot now basically i'm going to do the same exact thing in each section so you'll see me apply the water apply the product brush it through finger curl, scrunch and you'll see me i'm basically doing that throughout my whole hair so a little background before um Maybe like a month before I recorded this wash and go, my hair was badly, badly damaged. So um, basically the hair that I did cut off was, they weren't curling up like it was no hope for those. So that's why I kind of did a little bit of a semi big chop, but it's not really a big chop. Um, so yeah, my hair is doing a lot better now. Um, it's doing a lot lot better so that's i'm excited for that so it's just going to take time to transition um i actually have thought about um my sister her hair is a little damaged that's a little damaged from color damage heat damage you name it not trying to put her out there but it is and honestly if you guys want me to record transitioning her hair um 
comment below. I can show you guys how I cut my hair with her hair. I can cut her hair, um, buy the products that'll fit her hair, um, do all just what I did a month ago to my hair to basically restore the process. And I'll basically take you guys on the journey of me and her transitioning to very healthy curls. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know below. As you see, I'm doing the same exact thing to this side. Um, it gets easier, honestly. You can go faster and you just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. So the last part I do is the front of my hair. And I basically do it down in this direction. So you're going to see me wet my hair like I do all the time. And then I brush it. Um, then I'm going to take the product and basically distribute it throughout my hair like I do every section nothing different I just like to do basically the crown part of my head going face down and together I actually this is only the actual section I don't split up because I don't want to create a part for myself so this is really why I do it in this direction and in one big section so You'll see me apply product, brush it through, apply product, brush it through. And um, I basically just, it's basically a really touch and go thing. Um, I'll scrunch, brush, just go back and forth with it till I get it to my liking. I know how I want it. I know how my curls are supposed to look. So you'll just see me going back and forth doing that. So once I'm done applying all the product, I do like to flip my head over and scrunch upwards. Um, I love scrunching. It just defines my curls better and I love the shrinkage. I also take a cotton t-shirt and scrunch upward. It just takes some of the extra product away and helps my hair dry a lot faster. to let my hair air dry for at least maybe 30 minutes then I'll go in with the diffuser so basically when you use the diffuser um you do want to use it in a low heat mode um even probably not even use heat you probably just want to do it on the cool setting um but I alternate between low heat and the cool so um basically you just want to use the diffuser and basically a scrunching motion basically like if you were scrunching your hair but with a dryer so i like to flip my head over i like to turn it to the side flip it to the other side and you'll see me do it throughout the video but yeah um i just keep doing that until it's as dry as you want it to be it does take a little bit of time but be patient with it you will get the results results my bad that you like so just keep doing that until it's as dry as you want it to be
hair is probably like 80% dry but it's dry enough for me to step out so this is my complete wash and go and you can see my curls are defined so my hair is getting to my liking so I'm happy with the results I got today they're actually better than the custard I used last time but this is with the gel and yeah